Jason Ott here, and we're talking with words with Paul Williams from Control 4. Welcome, Paul. Hey, great to be here, Jason. Yeah. So tell us, what's new from Control 4? Well, there's a lot that's new. So we're announcing our new version of software, 2.10. Uh, as part of that, we've got some great enhancements to our Foresight product line. Uh, we are also announcing that we've got really good enhancements to our package, wireless, and networking product line. And because we just uh, recently acquired Triad, our first new release of complete Triad branded audio products. All right, let's take them one at a time. Let's talk about uh, the control side, the new big news when, when then technology. What exactly is this? What's going uh, on? So when then technology is actually really cool. So what we've done from the very beginning of time, honestly, with Control 4, what we heard from consumers time and time again is that they wanted to have some ability to personalize their system, some uh, ability to control. And so what uh, we did is we created something that protects our, our dedicated installer channel, which is this, uh, the consumer integrator, the custom integrator, and we've also the, uh, enabled it so a consumer participates in that process now. So from their customer.control4.com account, a customer goes in and they can set when that action, so when an event, occur, when a time event occurs, when a button is pressed, uh, when a uh, action is uh, happens, that they can then have a then event that occurs. And that then event could be, for instance, at sunrise, turn off the yard lights. At sunset, turn on the yard lights. And they can do that without having to bring the dealer into that process, which is really cool. I mean, it's kind of revolutionary, quite honestly, because it allows that consumer to not feel like they're completely handcuffed anytime they want to make a small change. And honestly, for the dealer, it's, it's freeing. Dealers have had to go in and do these tiny little bits of, of programming they don't like to do. They're not profitable. And they always know that if they're, if they're going to put something in that's personalized, five minutes later, the consumer's going to want to change it to make it something completely different. So we think it's really going to change the face of that and also allow for more opportunities for our dealers because they're going to get these projects where the consumer said, man, I'm, I'm so worried about being handcuffed, I'm not going to do anything. Now this is a specific function of the new uh, OS 2.10? It is. Okay. Yeah, so right. customers need to be on OS 2.10. Uh, they also have to have a Foresight subscription, which is our web-based services. Uh, if they have that, when then shows up on their on their customer.control4.com account. We have some online training. It'll work it through. It. It's pretty intuitive, though. Most people should be able to figure out what they need to do. All right, let's uh, turn to uh, PackEdge uh, Backpack and some innovations there. What's happening? So a couple of big innovations that we've done there. Uh, the first is that we have a new wireless router. So in the past, we've had routers and we've had access points. We have the combined first product that's a wireless router with a great entry uh, point of 300 US dollars retail. Uh, this allows our integrators to get into these smaller systems and really speaks to the whole IoT world. Um, IoT systems are connected to the cloud, need reliable networking. The modem that you get that comes from the cable provider is not a great modem uh, and not a great router. And in fact, a lot of these systems are not able to keep up with all of the demand that's now being asked of them from all of these devices that are being added into customers' homes. The WR1 answers that question. Five gigahertz, it's got four ports of gigabit on it, and it's at that price point actually quite amazing. Included with that is what we're calling Backpack Lite. So Backpack is the management tool that our dealers use to manage PackEdge networks. It allows them to monitor those networks. It also allows them to remotely manage them. So if there's an, if there's an issue that occurs, they can go in and adjust it. What our dealers told us, we did a recent survey, our dealers told us that Backpack was saving them two truck rolls a week. That, that is a huge amount of cost for our dealers. And the bigger part of this, not just the cost that went into that call, it's the opportunity cost. What could they have done instead of going out to those consumer homes? We allow that to happen through Backpack and remote management. What we've done with the WR1 is we've added what we're calling Backpack Lite. Backpack Lite allows the dealer to manage that wireless router using their Backpack account. So they'll see that router, they can, they can uh, manage it there uh, to see if it's online, off, offline, to look at uh, throughput on it, and to really remotely troubleshoot system uh, issues that may be uh, happening with the consumer. It sounds like both on the control front and the networking front, you're helping integrators be much more efficient. Yeah, we know that efficiency equals profitability. And that's important for our dealers. We want to make sure that control force systems that go in can be done economically, but can be done efficiently so they get the profitability out of those projects. 
All right, last but not least, uh, Triad. Uh, now uh, the acquisition's been a while. We're starting to see some products come to fruition. Tell us what's happening. So the, the cool part of what we've done is we've taken the 35 plus years of deep audio experience that Triad has, and we've married it with near, the nearly 15 years of home automation and smart home experience that Control 4 has, and we've created this perfect marriage of audio and automation. And so we're announcing our, our first new products that are coming under this. All, all, uh, all for the in the future, all audio products coming out of Control 4 will be branded Triad. That's how strongly we feel about that audio brand. We've come out with two new audio matrix switches, an 8x8, 8, 8, 8 channel, 8 zone, and a 24x24 24 24, um, audio matrix switch. They have digital inputs on them to be able to take in high-res audio and pump high-res audio out. That's a big part of our whole audio line is around high resolution. 192K, 24-bit audio, very low distortion. Incredibly low no, uh, sound or noise floor on them as well. And we've made them really phenomenal products. So we've got the two audio matrix switches, and then we also have a new amplifier that is built with ice power modules, specially tuned for Control 4 to deliver this incredible audio experience for consumers. Um, great features built into both of those. They take half the amount of rack space, which is another important thing for our integrators because rack space is at a premium. We're able to shrink that down, takes 50% of the rack space that they took previously. They sound fantastic. We are able to deliver source to speaker high-res audio. But we didn't stop there. The, the next product that we introduced in that product is called the Triad One. Triad One is a high-res audio streaming device. It, we can stream audio to a zone it, either over Wi-Fi, over Ethernet. It can be a single zone system, so I can have one of them. It can sit on a bookshelf. It has an amplifier built into it. I, set, I connect a set of speakers or a sound bar to this product, triad sound bars, triad speakers, and it is amazing. 60 watts um, at 8 ohms, 100 watts at 4 ohms, high-res audio, 24 up to 24-bit, 192K. Uh, they sound phenomenal and pair with Triad speakers beautifully. In fact, we have presets within the Triad One and within the other Triad products. So that as you purchase a Triad speaker, you select the Triad speaker you have, and we've expertly tuned the EQ for those speakers. Wow. Re I'm retails for 700 bucks, by the way, oh, wow. which is pretty phenomenal. I'm out of breath, and I wasn't even talking. So, um, Paul Williams, Control Four, thank you for joining us on Talking with Words. Jason, thank you very much.